when you do first log into TimeSolve, everyone does land on the time entry page. You're exactly where you need to be to start recording time. You don't need to try to go anywhere else to try and find this. Uh, you're exactly where you need to be. The calendar that is over on the left hand side will show all the time that you've entered for the month so far. Uh, you do get individual daily totals, weekly totals over on the right hand side, and then a monthly total down below. Any of these totals that you do mouse over will give you a breakout of all of your billable, non-billable, and no charge time. Each timekeeper will have their name up top. Administrators and anyone that has the specific permission will be able to double click and choose the specific timekeeper that they need to log time for. In the matter field, this is a combination of the client name and the matter name. Uh, you can go ahead and type in any part of that client name or any part of the matter name to pull up exactly what you're looking for. Now, go ahead and put one in here real quick. Finn Jones happens to be my client. There's a few different matters that I'm working on right now. Go ahead and select one from my list. Uh, we do have task codes or you know, some firms call them activity codes. They are completely customizable. If you do need to do leads invoicing, as you see here, we do have the both fields available. So that way task codes would contain all of the L codes and other common ABA approved codes. The subtask codes then would contain the A codes. You can make these fields required. You can make them optional as we see here, or you can turn them off completely. So if you don't need them, that way you can streamline this time entry process. Also, all of your time by default will be recorded as billable time. Now, if you need, you can add in the permission to be able to record non-billable and no charge time. By default, we do track all time as a tenths of an hour or every six minutes. If your firm tracks it in a different way, that is easy enough to adjust. You do also have a timer function. So that way it's just like a digital stopwatch. That way you can record your time without needing to watch the clock or remember when you started or stopped any of those activities. TimeSolve can track it for you. I'm going to put in a little bit of time just as an example. Everyone will have their own default billing rate, uh, though that can be modified based on the client or the matter that they're working on. They do also have the option of filling in just a flat dollar amount or a fixed amount for these time entries. So if that's what's needed. All you need to do is click on this link. It will change to a fixed dollar amount, key in the amount that you want to bill out, and that's what will appear on the invoice. I'm going to put that back to an hourly rate. For the descriptions, I'm going to go ahead and type in any of the, the details for this particular time entry. We do have custom abbreviations that you can add in, so that way it makes the descriptions uh, much easier to fill out. Uh, here's a very common one, TC, for a telephone call. You can have any custom abbreviations as you want. Uh, this is another quick example that I have. All I have to do is hit the space bar and all that fills in for me. So that way, if you do have some routine activities, it's very easy to have abbreviations and that way uh, your time is recorded uh, the same way every time you do that activity. Now, one other thing, uh, because we're completely web-based, we do work with some of the extensions in your browser. Chrome happens to have a free extension called Voice and Voice Typing. And when that is turned on, it will actually dictate everything I say and enter it into the description field. That way it does give another alternative uh, to make it very easy to record those descriptions. So if, as long as you uh, have a mic or a headset, then you can dictate your descriptions uh, and that way it makes it very easy, no typing needed. Record your time in a few different ways. Save and new or save and duplicate. Save and new records your time, clears all these fields, gets it ready for the next time entry. Save and duplicate will record your time and then allow you to use those data points to record another similar time entry. If you ever needed to record any or edit any of your time, go ahead and click on the edit link over on the right hand side. This is a copy paste feature and you can also delete any of your entries that shouldn't be there. Now all of these editing capabilities are available up to the point that this time is on an invoice. Now if you do want to learn a little bit more about your time, uh, we do have an analytics section here on time entry. 
uh, this will show you information on your time. Uh, so it does default to the current month, though you can change this to really any time frame that you would like. Uh, it does show all of the hours uh, that you have entered so far, how much of it has been billable or otherwise, uh, your average hourly rate based on all of those different billing rates that you may have, what does it total out to be, how much is billed, how much is yet to be billed, your uh, top clients that you've been working on, and then also how does last this year compare to last year. So this does easily take the place of many different reports that you may need to run. Uh, you do get all that information all in one page. And then all I have to do is click on time entry, come back here and start entering more time. Now, expenses uh, really are entered in much the same way. Still have that calendar off to the left showing all the expenses you've entered in for the month so far. To put it to a specific matter, codes if you'd like to use them, typically a quantity and a price per unit, you still have that option of putting in a fixed dollar amount for those expenses. Now in the description, abbreviations and dictation work back here as well, and you do have the option to upload a copy of the receipt. From here, you can go ahead and upload a PDF or an image file, and then by default, that'll automatically be included at the end of your invoice. That way your clients do get some additional information, answers those questions about any of the expenses, and then hopefully cuts down on the number of phone calls that you may be receiving. Now, there are a few other ways that you can enter time and expenses uh, if you're away from your desk. Uh, we do have a mobile app. Uh, it's free to download and install, works on iPhones and Androids. And then you can record time and expenses right from your phone. Now, it does work with the talk to text feature on your phone, so you can still dictate those descriptions. Also works with the camera on your phone. So that way you can take a snapshot of the receipts and record your expenses that way. We do also have a desktop app. Uh, it's included in your account. Uh, you can install it on the desktop of your computer or your laptop. That way you can record time without being logged into TimeSolve. Now, the nice thing is that this desktop app along with the mobile app can both be used offline. So that way, if you do find yourself in a place that doesn't have a great internet connection, then you can go ahead, keep track of your time. It will save locally to the app. Then once you do get back to a spot that has a better connection or you know better Wi-Fi, then you can go ahead, push the sync button, and all your time will upload. Now, when you sync your time, uh, after it's done uploading, it will automatically download the most current client and matter list. If you do use Outlook 365, we do link up with that as well. So that way you would also be able to track your time uh, inside of an email or a calendar appointment. So we're gonna move on into clients, clients and matters. This does show how we format all of our clients and matters. All the clients are in bold, matters are indented underneath. Uh, you can have as many different matters as you would like. Uh, you just have to have at least one for each of your clients. Now to create any of those new clients, uh, all you have to do is use these links over on the right hand side, click on new client, give it a name, hit save, and then that client is in the system. Likewise, if you go ahead and click on new matter, all you have to do is tell it what client is for, give the matter a name, and save. Minimally, that's all you need to do. Once that matter is recorded in the system, then people can start recording time for it. Now, if you do have some of the additional information, great, go ahead, fill it in. If you don't, that's okay too. Time solves are flexible enough that you can enter that time at any point. Some of the other optional fields that are on here, the responsible professional, that is the person that's in charge of that matter or maybe the lead, and uh, you can use that field for reporting purposes. Also, you can use it when it comes time to invoicing. Consolidated just means that you want to group uh, multiple matters on a single invoice. So if your client does have multiple matters, maybe they only want to get one invoice each month. That way you can consolidate them. All the matters will appear on a single invoice, and that way they only do get that single invoice every single month, but it will separate out all the time for those individual matters. 